Am I allowed to curse on YouTube? But it was only the legend, Art and Senna. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. With you, your server, Manena Manatu, in another episode of A Girl Talks Formula One. So today, as week by week, we've been talking about the Drive to Survive documentary on Netflix. Today's episode is called The Next Generation. For me, this is a really exciting episode because it talks about all the young and newcomers on the Formula One. Max Verstappen has proved to be a very talented driver, so other Formula One teams are actually starting to bet on the youngsters. So today we're going to be talking mostly about Charles Leclerc and Pierre Gasly, who by the way, both of them hold a really close friendship. As Charles Leclerc says, it's very hard to make friends on the Formula One. But him and Pierre have known each other since they were little kids. They started racing together and now they're actually racing together in the Formula One, which makes it so much more excited. On the other hand, Pierre Gasly says, you can't have friends in the Formula One. You just have to learn how to separate what happens on track and off track. He could have enough said it better. Another thing that happens on this episode a lot is crashing, spinning, turning, God knows what. I could have sworn at least 10 drivers died in the episode, but it was only the legend Art and Senna and young, promising talent Jules Bianchi. He used to be in the Saubert Alfa Romeo team and everybody knew his destiny was to be in Ferrari. That was actually his mission and his goal, which is now what Jacques Leclerc, his godson, is trying to do. He is trying to complete his legacy. It was so sad because everybody saw him with a seat in Ferrari and Charles remembers going to visit him to the hospital and everybody was waiting for him to come back to the track and he never did. So the Formula One is a very dangerous and extreme sport. Drivers have to be extremely careful. And then in the episode, Marcus Ericsson from Sweden, he's actually in the Sobach team with Jacques Leclerc. He started spinning and turning in what could have been the longest eight seconds in the Formula One history. They started trying to channel him, but he wasn't responding. Until then, all of a sudden, he's like, what just happened? <laughs> I was anxious watching the whole episode. Honestly, it's from the longest ones, and I just wanted it to end. I was biting my nails, not like, <laughs> There's so many crashes. Like, I would have never known. <laughs> so Marcus has been five years in the Zobach team by now, and Charles Leclerc from Monaco. This is actually his first year. Everybody sees him as a perfect trifecta. He is smart, he is talented, he's got a bright future ahead of him. And he is also dreaming about taking a seat in Ferrari. But Kimi Raikkonen, and Sebastian Vettel, two major legends, are actually in the team. Kimi does not know what's gonna happen to him next year because his contract has not been signed yet. But do you guys think Charles Leclerc, a teenager that has been for one year in the Formula One, is actually gonna make it? Dun da da dun! After five years in Ferrari, Kimi Raikkonen is leaving. What team is he gonna be in? Or is it actually, finally, his time to retire? We will know all of this by the end of the episode, right after Marina Bay, one of the toughest circuits in the Formula One. 23 corners per lap and 1,771 lights projecting at the drivers. As Shaq says, it feels like an eternity, the whole circuit, the whole race feels like you're in a tunnel. It's just extremely intense. And it's true. But on the other hand, Charles' teammate is not doing so well. Marcus Ericsson finished on 11th place. Who knows what's going to happen to him? On the other hand, Charles has a bright future. 
two years later after his godfather died. By the beginning of the week in Baku, they tell him that his father passed away. 48 hours later, he wins first place in the podium. How emotionally strong can this little teenage Monegas guy be to win frickin first place? Am I allowed to curse on YouTube? Okay, well, I said frickin anyway. Unfortunately, two weeks after Marina Bay, Marcus Erickson loses his seat for 2019 season in the Formula One. His new seat is taken by none other than legend Kimi Raikkonen. But what's gonna happen with Charles Leclerc? Is he gonna remain in Alfa Romeo? Or is his dream of actually becoming a Ferrari driver gonna come true? We all know what's gonna happen, but I can't talk about it right now because we are so close to season two and we're gonna be talking so much about Charles. It makes me excited. <laughs> He's one of my favorite drivers. Who's your favorite driver, guys? I would love for you all to mention it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe or give it a thumbs up. And see you again next week with another episode on A Girl Talks Formula One.